All right. So your research has, has in practice, have really taken you into the practice settings of hospitals. Right. right. Has there been other ways that research has been advanced? And you can talk about, what about the international focus as well? And the, uh, just what people are doing with the theory to, uh, to continue to advance okay. it. Um, there's a lot of parts to that question, so if you'll keep prompting me, I'd, <laughs> that would be helpful. But okay. um, first of all, for magnet status, uh, it's a requirement to do research, for nurses to do the research. So I help them design comfort studies in their individual units or comparing okay. one unit to another unit. On an, uh, one unit might have implemented an innovative idea. That they want to see if it enhances the patient's comfort yes. uh -huh. as aggregate. And they will compare that to a unit who hasn't implemented that particular intervention. So that's one way comfort theory is used um, um, with magnet status um, in, the, in the research realm. Internationally, um, I've uh, presented the theory in Portugal and um, hope to get the book translated into Portuguese. I've done research um, with a Portuguese scholar over there. We've had a lot of fun working together as um, he needs help when he's ready to publish his articles. He needs help in um, streamlining the English <laughs> to appeal to English nursing journals. Um, the book has also been translated into Japanese, and um, I have a copy. <laughs> and I gave you a copy. Thank yes, you. that was um, a lot of fun to see all the Japanese um, symbols yes. for letters, yes. our, for our letters. Um, I haven't heard if they're doing research. Uh, my experience with the Japanese nurses is they're much more uh, focused on practice issues than they are on research. Uh -huh. But I think comfort is an, a universal concept. Mm -hmm. And it, um, a, a Spanish nurse in Mexico translated um, one of um, my questionnaires into Spanish, the general comfort questionnaire. And she found the same, in, when she did her factor analysis, she found the same relief, ease, and transcendence Excellent. factors that I had found in my factor analysis. So um, I think there's just a lot of potential for the theory to spread. Um, it seems to be very slow to, to me, but... Um, but when you look back, it is now in, in um, uh, different places, because I know it's also one, your instrument has been translated into Turkish. Oh, yes, that's right. You know? That's right. So, and so I think that um, your website facilitated those interactions. Yes for yes. some of these people, as well as your personal contacts. Oh, the, the website, um, I am getting contacts from everywhere. Um, Ireland, Iran, um, as you said, uh, Turkey, Canada, much, lots of Can Canadian nurses are using it. Um, Brazil, Brazil yes. uh, yeah. Portugal. It's, it's just it's been good. really interesting yes. and really, really yes. fun to um, hear from these nurses from all over the place. On the other hand, it takes a lot of time yes. to respond to them also <laughs> yes, yes. and to help them with their English and uh, their questions about statistics. And Oh yes, mm -hmm. that, that would be mm -hmm. a lot of time. I understand mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so you have, you have a career focus for the rest of yes, your retirement, yes, don't you? It's a labor of love. Yes. Okay. So, and in, in the sense we've been talking about practice, but you have integrated it into several uh, things, such as nursing diagnosis and oh, nursing well, I and yes, we um, talk about that. And this is really kind of a future um, project of mine, and I don't know how far I uh, will get along with it before I die. But, but it is a diagnosis now, right? Isn't it? It is. I want comfort as a patient outcome and a family outcome to be in the electronic databases. There are currently 14 of them across the country. The databases for what? For collecting outcome data on patients that all hospitals collect. Now, oh. the, there is an, an index called the um, Nursing Index Quality Indicator. Um, 
And all of these quality indicators for nursing outcomes right now, much to my um, chagrin and um, consternation, are negative. They are um, failure to rescue, for example, um, decubita ulcers, falls, uh, medication errors, okay. infections, um, all the n bad, nasty things that we don't want to happen to patients is presently how we are measuring nursing quality. Well, that is not quality. That's that right. is measuring lack of quality. Yes. And I want nursing to, in their electronic databases, th these are electronic outcomes. That are determined by nursing, or is it determined The nurses by enter the number of incidences of, say, new bed sores on their unit. Right. Any because, that's, because that's a mandate. It's a mandate. And that's mandated by? JCO. J. Cole. Okay. Yes, and all of this is the federal government with with the F National Nursing Association, American Nurses Association. Um, I think those things are important to measure because we definitely need to improve on them. But we also need to show that having an adequate nursing staff, enough nurses, will in add something of value to their stay. Yes. Yes. So that they will be more satisfied, they will feel more cared for, they will feel safer, they will, will feel comfortable or more comfortable than they uh, were before the nurse helped out. So right. I want uh, nursing as a discipline who is recommending all these outcomes to start thinking in terms of value-added outcomes as well. Uh, because that's right. how we can describe our practice. Yes, that's how we can describe it and yes. know that that it's making a difference. Right. So this has been a huge challenge. And so far, um, with one data set, which is the NANDA system of Nick, Knock, and NANDA, um, I, am, I have an, a, an electronic indicator for, for the intervention, the outcome, and the problem. So we have a Nick, a Knock, and a NANDA. And I do that work with a colleague in Michigan, Mary Colleen. Um, so it is part of their database. It is a part of their electronic database. database. But in my consultations with hospitals, they're not using Nick Knock and Nanda. Uh -huh. They're using other electronic database systems. 